Hello, watu wa Man United tuko na meeting after this. Tunaenda kupatana na watu wa Arsenal around 10 pm like this today so we need to come up with a game plan, okay? Yes, my name is Valentine or at @kalamiva and you're watching Why in the Morning, the latest breakfast show around. So it's segment on health. We're going to talk matters health and I think you'd be interested in this conversation although it's a bit uh, opposite. Today is a man crush Monday but we're talking about queens uh, incidentally. But it's okay. I think we can learn something from it. It does involve a man or the man did play a part in all this. So come help me say hello to my guests and then we can get started with the topic. Hello guys. Welcome to studio. Are you guys football fans? Yes. If you do not pick Manu right now, Mutatoka said. I'm a Manu fan. Yay! I knew. I knew. That's why I even threatened. You are not. You are as no una pena mashida. Nisawa. It's okay. Today we're talking about <laughs> health. What's your good name, sir? I'm Benedict Par. Uh-huh. Yeah. Welcome. Do yeah. you have social media handles by any chance? On Facebook, on Twitter? Facebook, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, LinkedIn, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how can we find you, sir? Um, Tell us your name first. Takwin Junior. Mm -hmm. I'm in Facebook. Gabriel Ethan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, Facebook name and, uh, again? Gabriel Ethan. G Gabriel Ethan. Yes, that's my son's name. Mambo, kuna majina mingi mingi za kizungu. Gabriel Ethan, Takwin, gani ngini? Julia. Wey! We are sorry. Okay. It's the law thing. Ah, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. No, it's a lifestyle. Uh-huh. I'm not a law. What, so what are you? I'm a suba. We are sorry. Okay. We, we will not make that mistake again. Oh, so please do tell us what you have come to uh, expound on. Uh, we are here to talk about anatal care mm -hmm. for the mothers mm -hmm. and uh, its importance. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what would you start with? What is antenatal care? Uh, according to the national guidelines for obstetrics and perinatal care, uh, antenatal care, <coughs> okay, they call it FANC, mm -hmm. F A N C, focused mm -hmm. antenatal care, mm -hmm. is the care given to a mother from conception to the onset of labor. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Just the other day, a friend of mine had a baby shower. And she's 19 years old. So um, I'm thinking this is quite important for the youth because, eh, manze watu nanza kuzama pe mama pe mana since that wezi eka full stop apo kwa your story, we might as well give knowledge, right? That's very true. Why yeah. is it so important to go to these clinics repeatedly? Oh, siju after how many months? Oh, kwa ni nenda kuangalia saidi mtoya na face, nujo Miss Deza? So tell me, wh why, why is it so important to keep going to the clinic? Why? While you're pregnant. Okay, every pregnant, delivering, mm -hmm. or postpartum, postpartum is after the delivery, mm -hmm. has an increased chance of developing serious life-threatening conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it is very important, very. What kind of life-threatening situations can you prevent with a baby inside the womb? Like uh, preeclampsia, we call it preeclampsia in pregnancy, that is basically hypertension. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it can go without any sign, mm -hmm. yeah can wow. go unnoticed, mm -hmm. just hits you like... No your story, Misha. Yeah, and you are not checking on it. Oh, not wow. Not even a headache. And there's no symptom, like uh, uh, nothing. Not even one symptom. That's <laughs> a bit scary. <laughs> Hypertensive. Eh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sometimes eh, eh. It, can, it can go unnoticed. That's why it's good to check. When you go for the antenatal clinic, mm -hmm. they check your BP, they mm -hmm. check your... For, I would uh, advise the young mothers mm -hmm. to ensure they attend all the required attentive visits. Mm -hmm. One, there are so many things that happens there. You screen for several for different infection diseases. We need to know your blood group. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to know whether you are anemic, you are diabetic, you are hypertensive, mm -hmm. so that we help manage. Actually, when ones come for uh, attentive care, we group them: high risk mothers and mm -hmm. low risk mothers. Mm -hmm. So high risk mothers are mothers who might have issues in their time of pregnancy, after delivery, before delivery. Now, a lot of mothers are mothers who might have an intensive pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So that's what basically what we do. We screen the mothers and ensure mm -hmm. that they are fit and they are good to proceed with the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm coming to understand it's both good for the baby and the mother. Yes. This yeah. entire We're dealing process. with two, two lives now. What happened? There is another case that I've recently heard that someone passed away after delivering and the baby was fine, healthy, made it, but the mother later passed on due to some complications. What could those complications be? Uh, among them is the 
amniotic fluid mm -hmm. embolism mm -hmm. uh, where it's some form of pa pulmonary embolism sure yes yeah there's okay. but you down down for for us. Maze. sorry you're in french <coughs> sorry uh -huh. i'll make it simple english for you please pulmonary embolism ni nini kwa kiswahili hapana mnanipima sasa yeah yeah okay uh -huh. uh, it's like you see you can have a clot in mm -hmm. your blood mm -hmm. that travels the way to your body mm -hmm. na kuja inapampiwa to the lungs vile blood inapampiwa it just goes with it get stuck in the lungs mm -hmm. respiratory issues zinaanza mm hapo -hmm. yeah um, uh, amniotic fluid embolism in a, in a, in a mm -hmm. yeah because you are there dealing with the mother you don't know what is happening you are trying this you are trying this and this person is not, is not breathing Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not ventilating well. Yo kitu na peleka ngawa mama vibaya sana. It doesn't to me, according to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Junior would think because you know when it comes to comes to obstetrics and gynecology, mm -hmm. one what presents one thing might might present to both of us like hypertension, yeah? Mm -hmm. But I pre present differently from you. Mm -hmm. We are di both diabetic and presenting different from the way you're presenting. That m sounds a bit difficult to deal with two different people of the yeah, same Yeah, it thing. is very individualistic. You uh -huh. deal with the person individually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the, these are the requirements for this mother. These are the requirements for this mother. So is it a class that all mothers all under the age of 25 could join any class apart from our phones? That's not how it works. No, no, it has no, to that, be. That is individual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you want to say something? Uh, post delivery, at times we have mothers having. Uh, postpartum hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. In short, we call it PPH. Mm -hmm. This is where a mother yeah. bleeds mm -hmm. after delivery. Mm -hmm. Now, like I told you, there are so many things mm -hmm. that uh, we do when a mother comes to the clinic. So once these things are missed, these mothers are at high risk of developing these complications after yeah. delivery. Mm -hmm. For example, a mother had, like I was telling you, a mother had, uh, she has uh, a low blood, a low H HB levels, mm -hmm. low blood. So when these mothers deliver us, they at times bleed. So let's assume this mother had uh, an HB of around six mm -hmm. or even seven, and this was not noticed when she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now, when she delivers, she g when she develops PPH or postpartum hemorrhage, she loses a lot of blood, mm -hmm. maybe one thousand, one thousand mil uh, meals. Mm -hmm. Then 1.5. That's a lot. It's a complication. It's a complication. Mm -hmm. So, chances of this mother surviving, mm -hmm. surviving when they don't deliver in a good facility are very limited. We said it should start from conception all the way to birth. Yes. Yeah, but is there like a time? Kama mini mekujo kujua. I have. I know someone who actually found out she was pregnant by someone telling her, "Hey, by the way, we may change." Like she was not really aware what was happening <laughs> to herself. Like a month later, and they were, ah, yeah, oh, okay, it's like this. So is it immediately after you've conceived? You're like, okay, I feel funny. Let me just go check, get checked. Ama, how does this work? For young mothers, mm -hmm. or for the first people getting pregnant, mm -hmm. uh, most of the time they never realize that they're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Maybe they realize after three months, two months, but uh, we say once you realize you're pregnant, mm -hmm. you're supposed to go to the clinic. Mm -hmm. But ideally, we say between uh, your first anatomy visit should be between 8 to 12 weeks pregnant. When you're 8 to 12 weeks pregnant, at least you should have visited uh, anatomical care so that we screen you or you are screened mm -hmm. for whatever complications you might have. Mm -hmm. So the first visit should be between 8 to 12 weeks or when you immediately realize that you're pregnant, mm -hmm. you should visit a uh, facility mm -hmm. or any hospital of your choice. What is the role that you play in, in, in this whole situation in the antenatal? Why are you looking at me like that, Junior? No. That's a very honest question. <laughs> the role we play, mm -hmm. we, as a man, it's proper enough, it's good, you go with your wife to the clinic mm -hmm. so that you guys plan this thing together because it's not your baby or yourself. It's our baby. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's supposed to be our concern. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm supposed to take to the clinic because there are things we'll be advised in mm -hmm. as a couple, mm -hmm. not as a mother, but as a couple. Mm -hmm. So like when you, when you are a high-risk mother, there are things you're not supposed to do. But you see, when, I don't, when I'm not told this thing by a professional or by a doctor, mm -hmm. it'll be very hard for me when you come back home and telling me, blah, I'm told not to do this, mm -hmm. and I'm not, I was not there with you. Mm -hmm. So you see, when I'm there with you, it's very easy for me to understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. So it should be uh, both parents' responsibility to go to the clinic. I'll come back to that because we're in a strange generation. Squeeze yata, anaruka mimba, attack your story. It wasn't me. 
the benedict <laughs> and you're surprising me today okay i have a special question for you yeah. okay i i understand you can be at risk or you can be at higher risk or at low risk yeah. does you maybe things like diet or where you live or how you live your lifestyle can can you tell off glance at nangalia mtu hivi usema una ka kwa high risk cuz you live here you do this ama vitu kama hizo is that possible 100% really yeah but give me some examples of high risk you are a smoker mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you are a drunkard mm -hmm. yeah i have a question because i have heard females saying that mtoto anataka fegi la anataka kuta sigara is that at all possible i'm going to be my twitter that's a lie write it in black and white okay but what is that so how do you how can you be social he might how? be parent you never know he's a how, parent how can the baby crave for for a cigarette the nicotine i guess yes ah. the nicotine yeah uh, so it's possible it's not how is it not possible it, it's just yeah. a, it's just yeah. a, it's just a cliche <laughs> uh -huh. that you women have you want something then you, in the name of the baby we start craving oil yeah. ah, it's craving mm. the baby wants and they want a pizza oh. how they why do they want a pizza for example mm. that is a low blow guys cheese no nothing <laughs> where's the crepe crepe no, to you it you can't you can't ay kweli guys please it's, it's a way of you guys milking money from us <laughs> that is not you crazy you have that craving zile mawe zinaitwaje the stones they eat kwanza ni mwana kuna kamchanga fulani unaweza i don't know how to describe it but you see i will not even advise uh, uh -huh. a mother <laughs> to i will not even advise a mother to eat uh, soil or mm -hmm. those stones because one those stones are not digested they don't properly digested they don't give some funny nutrients g ions no. three, what? If, if you just go to the hospital you uh -huh. be given uh, if it is if you need ions you be given iron supplements mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. There is a, a requirement of uh, iron that we need to have. Mm. So you see when you're consuming soil you don't even know how much iron you're taking. Mm -hmm. At the end of it it's putting at risk. But when you come to the hospital I'll know how much iron am I supposed to mm. give this lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So I will know the amount to give and when to give it. Mm -hmm. But when you go outside there just eating soil eating stone because <laughs> you feel like eating iron. <laughs> no. It's a deficiency in your system uh -huh. that causes that craving for that that iron deficiency dina cause your craving na kama mchanga ya kwenu ingekuwa na that iron mm. we will sell it we'll do the business after this <laughs> so <laughs> i want to imagine it's like a symptom craving is symptom your mm -hmm. body is saying it needs something because i ukisikia tu mimba unasikia cravings and msikia hata kuna mtu anaweza cravea harufu ya jua mazi eh how do you help that one jua eh but, but you know basically your mm. system your body works this way mm -hmm. Ukikuwa dehydrated kidogo you feel thirsty like like when I'm to diabetic they pee a lot mm. that one causes some kind of dehydration for me yeah mm -hmm. to atakunywa maji they take water like they feel dehydrated they won't just they just want to take the water water keep taking the water mm -hmm. yeah so we're saying pregnancy amplifies things call kuna feel if maybe it it acquire times to cause is somebody in the house yeah. really all the systems of the body are affected the cardiovascular uh -huh the what uh you see like now kwa sababu hata blood na je na panda kidogo inaongezeka kidogo kwa mwili yeah ndo maana watu wana fura fura bigo ama what why no but what to fura it's not very encouraging guys just help me understand what what to fura fura bigo akiwa ama vidole ama unapata usope ama fura fura why Am I just making room for why you look at me like that or you're supposed to have all these answers <laughs> these are not hard questions we, no, we are waiting you to finish your question okay yeah that's the question mm -hmm. now you see when uh, one gets pregnant mm -hmm. the body changes the mm -hmm. body adapts because now there are two people mm -hmm. so as the body adapts there's something called hemodilution that happens mm -hmm. so blood uh, is shifted from another i would not i would rather use uh, extracellular to intracellular right so there is that accumulation of fluid outside the cells so it makes the body swell at times mm -hmm. yes that's where the swelling comes from okay that mm. makes a lot of sense all right so we're saying after conception immediately you find out you're pregnant to go to the clinic and yes. these are regular uh, does this depend on the clinic that you go to whether it's private or it's public that the frequency in which you go like once in a week or um, twice no there's a standard there's a standard uh, mm -hmm. guidelines that uh, both people in private and in public use Like I told you once you realize you're pregnant you're supposed to visit a, a health center or a facility 
Now, we said at from 8 weeks to 12 weeks, that's supposed to be your an first anatomical visit. Then, by the time you're reaching at 20 weeks, you're supposed to have gone for another visit. Or you're supposed to go between 20 to 24 weeks. So that's okay. that would be the second visit. Mm -hmm. But in between, when you have an issue or you have a problem, you're supposed, you're supposed to visit uh, an hospital. Mm -hmm. Now, after 24 weeks, when you go to that 32 weeks, then you're again supposed to come. Mm -hmm. Ideally, a woman is supposed to have like uh, a minimum of four visits to a facility. But we say at least they should try and have eight visits. So after that four weeks, you're supposed to be having a visit after every every month. Mm -hmm. After every four weeks, you're supposed to come mm -hmm. so that we see how is your pregnancy progressing, how are you. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Tell me the truth. Do, do they teach you different in private and public hospitals? I know. I'm told that the, the public ones are a bit rough. We are not rough. People are taught this. We go to the same schools. No, no, no. Yeah. You go to the same schools. Mm -hmm. It's only that you go to Aga Khan and I'm working in Bagadi Hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you won't yell at me because I'm I'm wearing a trouser and I'm not supposed to wear a trouser and I'm pregnant. Uh, ideally, <laughs> there are, there are things called there's something called preconception advices. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now before you get pregnant, you're supposed to come to the clinic. You're supposed to prepare yourself. Before. Yes. yes that is planned pregnancy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You're supposed to come to See the clinic or to the hospital. Oh, pregnant. No. Mm -hmm. Your answer. But the planned pregnancy <laughs> start with going to the clinic. Okay. You check your health. I check mine. I could have. I could be having, uh, for lack of better words, mm -hmm. uh, low what? <laughs> Just spit it out. It's okay. Say it. Low. Uh, hey, wait, wait. Okay. Are you okay? I'm trying to be modest with my language. To me, a French. French. Mm. If, I, only, if, only, if, well if only, if only, if only, if only, if only, if French. <laughs> Uh -huh. o o okay, my health could also not be so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to father a kid that is two k one kg. Oh. Yeah, you know, a, a kid. If you get a kid that uh, a kid, a kid that has less than two point five kg, mm -hmm. you're in high risk. Really? From total, yeah. You know what? Some will get even one point eight. Eh. That's. You small. you had an STI. You mm -hmm. did not know about it. Oh. Is it, is it of course, low birth weight. We are talking about Zaliwa, Mambo ya resuscitation, Mambo ya oh, incubator. Oh. We are trying to, yeah. I like the way you've brought that up. In fact, as we conclude, I'd like to, to talk to the boy child, yeah, and maybe the, the role they play in this. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit weird, and this generation we're in is, is a bit, we don't really focus on, on being there for the pregnant mother or things like this, but maybe yeah. we really need, maybe we should. So would you like to give them a word of advice? To the boy child. You're very serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when your partner, let me say partner, at least say my wife, maybe. This is arranged. When your partner is pregnant, her health and my health are both vital. Mm -hmm. It's the number one thing. One number one thing we, uh, we should put on top of the list. For example, uh, let me g just give you a scenario. Nilenta kwa chemist flani kawangware, and kuna chemist iko na mpesa. You know how they operate. Mm -hmm. Then some, as we are doing the transactions, some two ladies walk in. One is, they, uh, they wanted to buy P2. Mm -hmm. So one is telling the other, Eh, hey, unajua P2 ina cause cancer. Eh, hey, nikaangalia, nikashindu, we? I've not had, that one is new, that is new science. So I wanted to, I brought them closer. Eh, hey, madam, si uniambie, ndi watami ni wache kuna ulia wangu P2. Eh, hey, P2 causes cancer. I told her, no. Let me advise you from a, from a professional view. Mm -hmm. P2 does not cause cancer in itself. Mm -hmm. What causes cancer is that that person when you are to me a pitu, I'm gonna patch na song kapi. Oh, so so hapo HPV na tembele hapo. HPV is among among the number one causes of cervical cancer. Yeah, and we just did HPV a few weeks ago, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh huh. So pitu hai cause yo pitu. Lakini mimi na jo ifi angwa ko ako heavy. Na jo sasa ni kona jeri, ni kona fatuma, ni kona na piti a piti yoko kuonja wanja kabla ni rudi apa. Niki collect huko, what do I collect then ikuja na hapa? Boy child, take care of your health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I take care of my health. Juni kikuja home, najua huko. Mpani kumuagika kwa free ocean. Fearless. <laughs> 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 Alright.
right, Junior. <laughs> what would you like to tell the boy child uh, as we wrap this up? Eh, hey, I didn't expect this. My <laughs> advice to the boy child is, mm -hmm. don't make anybody's daughter pregnant when you're not ready. Mm -hmm. That would be my advice. But they like to practice. Uh, if, mm -hmm. you're, if it's a must you practice, <laughs> practice safe sex. Mm -hmm. Safe sex doesn't kill anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yes. You have because imagine it? you have a, you have a daughter, uh -huh. somebody makes them pregnant and mm -hmm. they disappear. Mm -hmm. You have a sister, somebody makes them pregnant and they disappear. Mm -hmm. So don't make anyone's daughter pregnant when you're not ready. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you do, you should get ready. If you do, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Don't make anyone daughter pregnant when you're not ready. If you do, make sure you are ready for that. Okay. Yes. All right. Or if it happens accidentally, uh -huh. it's time to take. There is no accident. There, there is no accident in sex. There is no? There is no accident in sex. Okay, but this is turning out to be another topic altogether. Thank you so very much for coming, guys. They're telling me our time is done. Unfortunately, we've had way too much fun here. We have been learning about antenatal care. Yeah, Did I say it right? I yes. pronounced it properly. Yes. Also, I cannot pronounce, pronounce Junior's name, so I won't even try. All right. Am I want me to try the last time? Taquin. Maybe, maybe you can try. Okay, okay. Give me that Mohaken again. <laughs> Taquin. Taquin. They do it. Taquin. It's T O R. Taquin. It is. Not Taquin. Uh huh. Taquin. Taquin. Yeah. Evo. Last yes. me talking accent, Flani. Taquin. Oh, Flani, sweat as you boy. Oh my God. <laughs> at White Five Four Facebook, at White Five Four Channel on Twitter. Hashtag is one in the morning. So K Alex will be coming up with youth and politics, and after that, we have a conversation with our kings. You do not want to miss that. Don't go away.